Hey, what's going on YouTube? It's Nick from Noob Kill coming at you with another NBA Infinite Mobile video. So guys, of course, we are still out here trying to get more gameplay content on our seven brand new players here today. So we got a new one here. I do want to give a huge shout out to NBA Infinite and the Courtside Creator Crew for allowing me to get on this test build. So we can go ahead and record content with these news guys and all that stuff. Now, um, the player we're doing today is going to be Paulo Bencaro. I'm super excited when I found out that he was one of the players that are getting a new card in the game. I definitely wanted to try this card out. So here we are today but before we do jump into that i want to give a huge shout out to the comment squad guys so of course guys if you want to have your chance have your comment featured in one of these videos all you guys got to do is just drop a comment in the comment section below could be anything what's your thoughts about the seven brand new players that released in the game what are your thoughts about the may update um anything like that tell me in the comment section below or my absolute favorite tell me guys where you're watching these mb infinite videos from around the world but yeah man you guys can see he's a 90 overall at r7 i believe at r1 paulo ben carroll is a 7 76 overall as you guys can see right right about right there um but yeah we are playing with the r7 so he's 90 overall of course his exclusive skill i really like how they've been doing like the play on words with whatever team they are so it's a magic trick right here um of course he plays for the line of magic so paulo ben carroll's um post up game is the team's offensive marvel right here so um a lot of his effects work off the post move post up so you guys can see above me the post up juke efficiency goes up by 10 percent his contested dunk rate also goes up by 10 percent um and his layup contest resistant goes up by 10 percent as well that's at level one so we go to like or that was at level two if we go up to level three it's up to 15 percent and at level one uh it's at five percent so you guys can see that now of course his other one is a dominant skill and i don't really know how many players have kind of something like this where uh it says ben Kiro uses more stamina in a post-up drive but his post-up juke efficiency increase so i don't know how many players do have like a dominant skill that has kind of like a negative at the same time like he's gonna be eating 25 percent more stamina but he can go ahead and juke out people a little more in his post-up game so that's kind of interesting of course if you go up in overall of the level his stamina cost does go down of course um and the juke efficiency does go up so you definitely want to be one of the things that you want to unlock um and uh do all that goodness now his stats are nothing too crazy right here um i want to say like something's just like catching my eye like a lot of these other players i have got released like shay's mid-range game uh of course um ants uh great dunking stats and everything like that now of course his best is his post game and his dunk at 810 right here the mid range is at 750 um his three pointer is a little lackluster at 583 right there kind of low um his strength and speed are all both at 750 right here but one thing of course like i said is that his post up game uh with his new skill is actually pretty cool so if we go to like this right here just go and test this out i want to show you guys um just how how much range of um of movement you get or i uh, guess separation you could go ahead and do so you guys see when posting up drag the joystick back and hold the shot button so instead of most of the time when you go ahead and try this with a player and you start posting up and you try to do like a shot they're gonna go ahead and do like a turnaround fadeaway which does give you some good separation but if i go ahead and showcase this right here this is almost like james harden level of separation right here so if we're gonna just post up from like let's say the elbow right here and i pull this back he's definitely gonna get into the three point range now again <laughs> paulo is not the best shooter you saw his three-pointer is at like in the 500 so maybe you want to do it on this side but if you guys are too close to the elbow right you guys are gonna lose oh no we do pull back a little bit but he does get it there but at least on this side you do have like a moderate uh bonus because his hot zones are not the craziest right uh, this side the right side of the, of the court if you guys are too close right here at least you're gonna still be in the mid-range zone so you can hit that hot spot so of course you can kind of pick your poison of which side you want to do it from um but without further ado let's go ahead and hopefully hit this one right here and hit the three-pointer oh i missed the i missed the timing uh hit the three-pointer there we go <laughs> uh and let's jump into some gameplay all right so as always guys you guys know we're on the test build of course we're playing against crazy bots and everything like that nothing too crazy to go up against pretty much like pylons but at least we get to see how their movement is in game kind of use how their shot percentages and all that stuff are here but i'm super excited nonetheless to get gameplay with this guy um you guys tell me in the comment section below what player you guys want to see me go ahead and do next of the seven brand new players of course we've already done oh, okay so i want to kind of post up so like let me do this and let me go ahead and hit that and can we hit that three right off the jump? 
Oh, yes, sir. Okay, there we go. Um, So we can kind of use that, like, play on that off of the jump ball to kind of hit set up. So you can kind of set up Paulo for a nice three-pointer. Oh, what a play. What a play, but no bucket for Dinwiddie. All right, let's see what we can do. Let's see. Let's go ahead and post up, and we can spin in that, and then we can just go ahead and slam that down. So you guys can obviously use a lot of things right here. Posting up is obviously what you're going to want to use Paulo for. Uh, great defense right there by your boy. Um, and come on, Curry, behind the back. Oh, he's just definitely going to shoot that. He's definitely going to shoot that. Uh, good bucket. Got to give it to him. But um, yeah, man, you can definitely work off some different things by posting up is obviously his strong suit. Um, but and he's a big body, so he should be able to get rebounds and stuff like that. But let's see that three pointer. Oh, his three pointer is very quick. It moves very fast, but we are in his hot zone. He's hyped. He's like, yes, sir. Okay, that's that's lit. That's lit. <laughs> um, he's getting excited. I'm I'm right there. I'm right there. Oh, I wasn't there. I wasn't there. I couldn't get through that there fast enough. All right. CPU gets a bucket on my sloppy defense. I'm gonna make a break. Okay, maybe not. Uh, we're just gonna go up there, and he's just gonna slam that. Yeah, man. Like he's got a really really quick first step. We get the playback right here. Paulo going up for the slam. And yeah, man, I'll take a little screenshot right there for possibly the thumbnail right there. All right. So there we go. We do have the strong man juke. So let's go ahead and do that. Let's go ahead and do that. Oh, wow. Dinwiddie's, Dinwiddie's got some moves. He's just taking weird contested shots. So I want to turn this on and let's go ahead and post up. So when he posts up, you guys can see, uh, it's not too bad. Oh, wow. What a move. What a move. Oh, I could not finish though. Again, the jump shot is not, it's not the greatest. Um, And then there we go. Like, look at that separation. Wait, Wiggins is there. It's just that his shot, his shot rating is not the best, right? His shot rating is not the best. So I'm not expecting like all these to bang, but I really wish they did. Uh, let's go to non-hot zone. Oh, I didn't hit the blue, so he definitely ain't gonna hit that. I might be giving away MVP right here. Uh, to Drummond. Good look. Good look. Give me that board. Oh no, he's got five boards, man. He's got five boards. All right. Okay, there's a putback. Let's go. Paulo with a putback. All right, maybe this is the thumbnail right here. I like this one. I like this one. I like this one. Oh, that was terrible. That was a terrible. <laughs> oh, man. Okay, we at least got a put back. So he doesn't have the second chance champ, obviously. Um, that's a way to make the bot shoot. Got the ball. I'm going to take the quarter three right away, right off this jump. And he hits that. So, again, he does have his favorable hot zones. Obviously, we did hit our three-pointer in his hot zone. Um, and the other ones, I did miss some of the timing. But, ooh, what a move again by Dinwiddie. I don't know how that's heavily contested. Got to give that to him. All right, so let's get this post up. Again, posting up is definitely... Oh, Andrew Wiggins is lost. All right, so posting up. And then we're just going to pull up. Oh, man. Yeah, we're definitely giving Drummond the MVP here. We're definitely giving Drummond the MVP here, dude. Oh my goodness. Uh imagine that. Imagine that. All right. But I'm really liking I'm really liking his highlights so far. Um I got that board. All right. So strongman juke. So again, so let's see if that the post up is faster right here. So we go like that same amount. It's still wide open. Defender is not really putting his hand up. So we're making that work. We're making that work. Again, he's getting his good jump shots. It's just that it's just a little un Oh, give me that board. Give me that board. All right, let's see. Let's go ahead and post up into a spin. Again, like that's going to be your best bet. You can just post up, hit the spin move, get that trigger, and bang. Oh, right on Drummond, dude. Yo, Paulo with a big dunk. That spin is nice. That spin, oh, golly. That's a big poster. That's a big poster. I'm sorry I'm kind of rooting these replays with the with the with the screenshot but but those are nice that's a nice that's a nice poster i'm gonna go again really quick okay let's just go oh <laughs> yeah man he just automatically gets into this his motion once you take off so i'm liking that a lot i'm liking that a lot of course you do want to attack the paint more with with paulo then of course give me that oh how's that not a block give me that rebound dog how do we not get that rebound come on curry bang that no di wow disrespect for even from the cpu man okay I'm going to make him shoot this. Oh, I jumped too early. I thought I could block that. Dang. Dinwiddie got some moves. Dinwiddie's got some moves. All right. We still somehow get MVP. 
I'll take it after how many boards Drummond got, but I guess we put on a lot of points. There's a lot of clinic right here. So very, very nice. I think we hit like two three-pointers too, right? Three three-pointers with Paulo Ben Carroll's uh, jump shot. So not too bad. Let's go ahead and jump into another one. All right, guys. So let's jump into the second game with, of course, Ben Carroll. We do have Jonathan Isaac on our team instead of Drummond. So let's see if we get some more like rebounds and stuff over him. Um, but of course, guys, I do like his card a lot. I do like his little post moves and all that stuff. Um, I really like how much separation you do get from of course doing this post up move right here so um it is very nice the only thing is yeah that's the only thing right his dunks his shot jumper is just not as nice as i want it to be right like uh we can we can do all this all this all this separation and all that goodness but if he's not hitting shots on a decent clip that's going to be affecting his card a little bit but we do hit that one right there because we were in his hot zone as i couldn't get there in time and andrew wiggins actually going to slam that down so the bots are starting to Bots starting to get better, I guess. So that's pretty good. Marcus Smart. Give me the ball, Marcus Smart. Don't be a ball hog, Smart. Let me do my showcase. As I missed the rebound on Jonathan Isaac over Isaac. He's going to try a hook shot. I should hit that wide open. So got to give a little props to our little bot right here. All right so uh yeah man but you tell me what your thoughts about this ben carroll card and all that goodness he does get some good decent boards as well if you time it correctly but i feel like that's with everybody but i do like that like oh we got him reaching and we got him leading okay give me a replay please come on yo we had him reaching we had durant reaching dude that's crazy that is absolutely crazy. So that was probably our best highlight so far. Let's see if we can do it again. Oh, we got him reaching again. We got him reaching again. And then, oh, snap. That's a little, that was pretty bad. So you guys see, that's another thing. Of course, Drummond is there for that rebound. And he he already stopped us. So um, I don't know how, how well he's going to be against Anthony Davis. Stuff like that. And actual players that know how to play with Anthony Davis. And their big man. Um, as Okay, there we go. I like that put back. Good put back right there from Ben Carroll so that's huge here we go here we go I'm loving that I got I sorry I have to take that screenshot that that was just too good that was just too good that was just too good on that putback something different all right let's see what defense oh we're there uh I'm there for the rebound again good rebound over Drummond and Isaac let's turn on our post move so let's go ahead and do that okay there we go at oh my goodness so Drummond is standing there. I guess he wasn't holding down that defense button. And we just slammed it right there. So some of the presence obviously triggers some differently. Uh, can we get the rebound? Again, snatching another. Re I'm just going to pull the three right here. Step into the three. Moderately contested. Hey, maybe Paulo is making me eat my words, man, right? Wait, when I said, like, can we hit that on a, on a good clippy? He did hit it. Um, grabbing rebounds and all that stuff. Can we can we go ahead and cross him up? All right, I want to post up over here. And I want to get that jumper. No. Okay, Isaac got my back, though. So, again, hit or miss. That was a mid-range shot in our hot zone, too. And he is going to miss that one. But, obviously, you're not going to hit 100% of your shots and everything. Like, How did I not get that rebound? That, that one is bogus. All right, Marcus Smart. He's just gonna shoot that, isn't he? Oh, he's actually gonna pass the ball. That was actually kind of good. All right, let me let me let me let me go ahead and pull up. Oh wow, we didn't get any animation. I didn't get a I didn't get a turnaround or anything. All right, there we go. Smart got a jumper. Smart tries jumper. Finally get a bucket there. That's pretty good. Um, but on that one, we didn't get any anime. What is Durant doing, bro? What is Durant doing? All right, I'm wide open. I'm wide open here. Nope. Nope, Smart's gonna wanna be wanna be the MVP. Smart's trying to be the MVP now. Smart's cooking. Okay. Um, but yeah, man, honestly, tell me what your thoughts about the May update as well. Uh I'll let oh wow, I was gonna let Durant shoot that. I feel like we just got players a little bit too late, and I we just let Durant walk into that. Like just because like I, I really like it, and I get like the balancing thing and all that stuff, but like I don't know. Our two main guys that are legendary, Shea and Halliburton. <laughs> By the time we both got these guys' cards, they're both booted out of the playoffs, right? Ooh, good three-pointer. Okay, maybe maybe Paulo has a good jumper. Maybe I'm just talking smack, man. Uh, but um, yeah, man, and even Ant had so much hype around the playoffs. Once we finally got his card in the game, uh, he's already he's already gone. He's already gone. <laughs> he's already the wolves are out of the playoffs, right? We're now on the finals um, and all that stuff. So uh, post up, post up. Okay, there we go, and then pull up buzzer beater oh we missed that i know i didn't time that perfectly but that's unfortunate but 
Yeah, man, we are we are gonna get the MVP right there with of course Ben Carroll once again He did put up some good three-pointers. We hit three three-pointers right there um, So that was pretty good to showcase we did miss about like two three-pointers I think it was um, but other than that not too shabby So yeah, man, let's go ahead and look at his stats one final time So yeah guys you guys tell me what your thoughts about Ben Carroll and all that goodness Are you excited about his card dro dropping in the game and everything like that again? I know his three-pointers at 583, but he was banging some threes there today and all that but yeah, man Thank you guys so much for watching. If you guys did enjoy this video, go ahead and smash that like button. Hit that subscribe button. Turn on notification, guys. And tell me which player you guys want to see next. But always stay hype. And we'll catch you guys soon. Peace. What's up?